Majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well, and you are loving yourself and others like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers. You are all loved, celebrated, and appreciated. Um, I think there was a video we talked about the symbolic nature of the Bible. Now, the Bible as a history book has a lot of things in it that when you study them, not the way they want you to look at it, when you study them in the way that you should study and look at some of those stories and symbolic parables that are in the Bible, you discover that there's a whole lot of game played by, by people as the world keep going and keep growing and keep maturing. Now, one of those is the fact that it is even in the Bible that we originally have 13 calendar months making a year. But right now, as it is, they want to debunk that. They want to tell you that it has been 12 uh, months making a year. They want to tell you that the Yeshua we talk about was born on the 25th of December. While it is not true. They want to tell you that the new year is on the first day of the month called January. Why it is not true? Now, all these things we're going to see as the video progresses. I keep talking about this. The calendar we use is not it. Now, this is a 1775 Bible that bring it clearly to your faces, to my faces. We're going to see that it is really 13 calendar months. And Ethiopia today still follow that same calendar. They never deviated from that. And the new year that we thought was January is not. The new year is April. Because when you look at nature, you discover that everything becomes new from March towards April. Things become new. Things begin to sprout. And it's like a lot is reborn at that time between the months of March and April. So, why am I bringing this here? I'm bringing this here to let you know that most of the things you believe to be true are not true. Because a lot of you now hold on to some teachings and feel like when somebody is going contrary to the teachings or the beliefs that you have, that means that person is a bad person. That means that person is sent from the pit of hell to come destroy, um, destroy humanity. This is how we, we have positioned our mind right now. So we don't really believe what we should believe. But I tell you, when you are connected to, to, to nature, you are connected to the creator, you discover that. The truth is not just so difficult for you to assimilate. It's just that the process, your body is what is going to feel some of the pain. Your body is even what is going to draw you back. Because this body we are in, our spirit, our souls is living in, is like a prison. We are trapped in here. And that's why there's a lot of things we could do in our dreams. When we wake up, we say, oh my goodness, it's just a dream. No. That, those are your abilities. But you need to grow beyond this body. To actualize those things. It's not impossible. Since you could see yourself doing it in your dreams. It's not impossible for you. You can as well do it. But the body is what is holding us back. From doing a lot of things that we are made or created for. So I want to take you to something and we'll take it up from there. The quest to rediscover ourselves is something that we should not overlook. And that is the reason why we are beginning to see, a lot of people are beginning to see the truth for what it is. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm not that much of a religious person, but... I was reading a Bible from 1775 today, and guess what I found out? That, two things really, there is a 13th month. And the 13th month's name was Vader. Number two thing that I found out was the fact that the one who they called Jesus did not die on the 20th, I'm sorry, was not born on the 25th. He was born on April the 1st. Now, fast forward to nowadays, what do they call April 1st? April Fool's Day. Now, who do you think are they calling the fool? The people who don't know that this is the day that their um, proclaimed Savior was born on. 
take that and run with it. This is why I've said the dates that they are giving us are incorrect. We used to have 13 months, 28 days, one day of rest, even in the Bible. So if we have 13 lunar cycles, 28 days, 13 zodiac sign, every turtle shell you'll find, 13 sections in the middle, and 28 notches along the side, all to keep us disconnected from these natural cycles of our realm. Listen to David Strait explain it more. Our calendar is not quite right. We're supposed to have 13 months of 28 days with one day, the day of resurrection, Easter, as a neutral day. That's our 365 days. We've actually got 13 constellations. But it's also very close to several ancient Sanskrit calendars. What does sept mean? Seven. I thought that was nine. What does oct mean? What does no mean? What does dec mean? It's supposed to be the seven days, nine and ten. fooled all this while all these ages all this time and that's why the colors the sheep <laughs> remember that guy that passionate guy i do bring here that guy that was talking about the sheep and the shepherd the whole concept of the sheep shepherd theory right we've been fooled they know we've been fooled and that's why they call us fools april fool's day <laughs> because of course there are things they've hidden so far they've succeeded in hiding it and they'll keep hiding it and the person that gave this day this very name april fool knows the reason why he had called this day april fool's day fool's day your majesties that is the truth a lot of things we think is the truth is not the truth a lot of things we think is the right thing we are doing it just because our body right now is accustomed to accepting those things we do and we feel that we are at peace when we do those things does not necessarily mean those things are the truth. So we should be very careful when we want to automatically discredit someone's idea, someone's effort, someone's teaching or someone trying to say, oh, let's look into this again. Because it is the matrix that do not want to be called to book, to be called to face the evil that they do. And that is why they have to take the life of Yeshua. They killed him. He didn't come to die for any sin. Those parts in the Bible that you always refer to, oh, it's written in this place, place, place. It is written in that place. Hey, Jesus came to die. Jesus came to die. This and that. He was killed. Someone who came to die, why would he be crying the day, be, the day before he knew they were going to come and take him? Why did he weep blood? Why did he say, if you, you can take this cup away, do take it. But if not, let your will be done. If this is what he was created for, if this is what he was made for, that he should come and die. Why was he now saying if the cup should be taken away, if the cup can be taken away, let it be taken away. Why was he saying that? This is it. They hide 
this truth there in the Bible, and and I you know they 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 turn it in a way that you'll be confused. You just need to be a bit critical. You just need to grow past emotion, and voila, the whole truth is before you. But no. Allow the Holy Spirit to teach you. This is what they keep telling us from ages past. Allow the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the emotional. Your emotion is your Holy Spirit. My emotion is my Holy Spirit. But right now, I've grown past that emotion. So when you grow past emotion, oh, you're blaspheming. They turn the world against you and begin to look you as a devil. <laughs> If you think you are living a normal life in this life, then you have to think again. If you think everything around you you see is the truth, then you have to think again. There's a lot, a lot of uncovering that we need to do. A lot. And if you are the type that just want to keep living in it, even if you know it's not the truth, let's just keep living and die and live. That's your business. That's yours. Leave those who want to know. Allow them to know. Allow them to know. Leave your comments and thought there at the section, and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others, stay safe, stay positive, always, Your Majesties. Bye for now.